I'll show you how to create a composite model in Power BI combining import and direct query, but also talk about how that brings together IT and business and they are indeed better together. Let me know in the comments below which camp do you fall into, IT or business, and how do you think composite models can help you? And if you would like to become a Power BI Pro, make sure to subscribe and click the bell so you are notified whenever I go live to answer your Power BI questions. Power BI composite models is indeed a huge game changer. Now, if you, your company is anything like the ones that I've worked in, the dynamic between IT and business is never that great, but it changes all of that and IT and business are indeed better together. So it brings that reality. And you know what, let's just uh, jump into the demo and see how you can build a composite model. So here I have a brand new Power BI desktop file. And first thing I'm gonna do is, so again, I'm pretending to be a business user and I'm going to connect to our SQL Server data warehouse maintained by our IT team. And well, this one is just sitting on my desktop, but, and in here, I'll select direct query because I don't wanna import that huge data set into my model. So direct query is the most efficient way there. And I'm gonna hit okay. And even though it's gonna say something like importing data, oh, well, I do have to select the data uh, that I wanna select. So uh, uh, let me bring in sales, product, and calendar. And let me edit it really quick to fix the names. So I'm bringing the data in. And again, it does not actually import. And notice that there's no data tab here. It's just reporting and relationships because you know data isn't imported into your model. It's a direct query mode. But I do have access to the tables and I can model them as I see fit. So I can define relationships. I can connect the product table and I can connect... Uh, uh, the date table. So let's connect the calendar table. And, and once I have done that, I can build simple reports. Let me just do quickly build a, a really simple report. All right, nothing fancy, just a few simple measures. And, and you know, uh, and I created a simple report. But again, this is direct query. Now, this is where usually things got ugly, because often business users would have most of the data they needed available in uh, the data warehouse, SQL data warehouse they're, they're connecting to. But more often than not, there was this one piece of information which wasn't in there. Now, I should point out one thing to you. If you look way in the corner over here, it says storage mode is direct query. So uh, now let's see the scenario where the business user does need to pull this one other file. Now I should mention though that uh, you need to make sure that in your options and settings that uh, if this is still a preview feature, you might have to turn it on as I have done so in preview features. So if you have done that, then you can proceed with the next step, which is I'm gonna point to an Excel file, which is just sitting off uh, somewhere uh, else, it's not in my SQL warehouse, obviously. And I'm just going to connect to that and bring it in. It does need some cleanup. Let me just do that really quickly. All right, I've done that. And I'm just going to click close and apply. And uh, well, it does give me that warning. I'm going to hit OK. And this one is actually pulling that data in and keep keep uh, keep an eye on the corner here. Oh, well, it already changed. Uh, so yeah, you can see that storage mode now says mixed. And that's what the composite model is about. It combines that uh, uh, direct query mode and the import mode. So now if you were to go to the relationship view, you would notice that this table is here. And again, it, it kind of feels seamless, which is amazing, right? But one of them is very different than the other. This model, this table has been imported in, whereas everything else is a direct query. Now we can connect this and I can model it, find measures on it uh, as we as we uh, see fit. So I'm going to connect the product key and the date table. Now there is uh, uh, it, uh, the only relationship supported in mixed mode for these tables that you bring in is going to be many to many. So don't try to change that. At least that's how it is set up right now. And now that I have that, let me quickly define some quick measures on the budget. So really simple measures. Budget is simply the sum of budget amount. And, and most importantly, you can define hybrid measures, which is uh, sales minus budget. Let's look at that in the relationship view really quick. So uh, variance is actually 
a hybrid because it's going across these two tables. It's doing sales minus budget, where sales is coming from this table and budget is coming from this table. But yeah, composite models makes that seamless, makes that really possible. And now I can go back here and I can add a budget in here. If I wanted to compare it, I can come in here and add budget add variance and of course anything fancy that you could do with power bi conditional formatting and all of that and you can build a rich dashboard with data coming from two sources one is the direct query typically from your data warehouse and the other is any other tables that you needed to import to build your model so as you saw, you know, the scenario where IT has built a data warehouse and typically the business user would consume it in direct query. And the problem scenario earlier used to be that if they wanted to connect to this one table which sat outside of the data warehouse, they were kind of stuck. Uh, but now direct query and composite models make that possible, bringing IT and business together. Let me know what you thought about that and how you're going to use composite models. And if you're looking to learn Power BI, then make sure to check out my Power BI tutorial on my channel. And if you get stuck and have any questions, then join me live on Talk Power BI Fridays. Until next time, power on my friend. Hey, keep watching more videos and keep learning Power BI. But if you did enjoy this video, I would love to hear from you. So leave a comment, like, subscribe, all the good stuff. Power on, my friends.